Hello, welcome back to the United States of Scary, a series where I talk about the scariest stuff in all 50 states. And this is the second episode and we are going in alphabetical order. So we are at the last frontier, home of snow and moose. That's right, we're in Alaska. Once a thriving town in the southern end of the Kenai Peninsula, Portlock, Alaska is now a ghost town, and it's been this way since 1949. That was when the residents, virtually overnight, all decided to flee in fear of this hairy creature that had been injuring and killing townspeople. The creature was called the Nantinok. And just as a side note, I'm not entirely sure which syllable to stress in Nantinok, so I may very well stress all of them. So be prepared for that. Portlock residents had reported sightings of this half man, half animal creature for decades before deciding to leave. In 1905, workers at the local cannery, which is a factory where food is canned. I know that may sound obvious for some people, but honestly, I had no idea what a cannery was. And in fact, Whenever I read the word cannery, I thought it was a misspelling of canary. I'm not even joking. I wish I were, but no, I legitimately thought it was a misspelling of canary. Anyways, these workers just one day up and left and <laughs> laid everything down and just was like, I'm out of here because they kept seeing this mysterious figure around camp. And in fact, they didn't come back to work until the next season when they were promised to have armed guards there to protect them. In 1931, a man was found murdered after having gone into the forest to chop some wood. It looked like, supposedly, he had been killed with one single blow to the head. Around this same time, moose hunters had found 18-inch long footprints heading into the mountain. Leading up to 1949, people kept disappearing and bodies were found along trails and in rivers and in bays, in the bay that was there and just uh, not, not the, uh, not the ideal living situation, you know? By the end of 1949, most residents had just decided they had had enough with this Bigfoot-like monster. And so they took everything and just fled mostly to nearby towns in Alaska, the only person who stayed was the postmaster, and the postmaster stayed in the town for one year, totally alone, in this town where there supposedly was a man-killing monster, because there had to be a person there to reroute the Sears catalogs. Since 1951, no one has lived in Portlock. In fact, most of the former residents and their families refuse to go back. It's just something that they just don't want to do. But like a lot of legends, this has <laughs> the story of the Nantanuk has been in books and magazines, newspapers, movies, TV shows. The first time I actually heard about this was on a TV show on Discovery Plus called Alaskan K Killer Bigfoot. Is that what it was called? I know it's such an amazing title, I should remember it. Alaskan Killer Bigfoot, that's exactly what it was, where five guys went to this, I to this town and camped out for 40 days trying to find this this beast and in the end if i remember right they it was creepy you know they found some heard some creepy things but nothing definitive no no evidence that would concrete say yes this thing exists i don't know i also read and there's this 2021 article in the anchorage press that said Essentially, the reason why people left was not because of this Bigfoot monster or whatever. It was more practical, like the economy or schools, churches, stuff like that. People just wanted to live in places with those amenities. And it also theorized that this legend has persisted because people 
didn't want outsiders, locals didn't want outsiders there. And so they thought, hey, let's come up with this story about this man killing big scary monster to keep people away. But people are stupid. So what's your opinion? Do you think this non Teenuk, do you think it actually exists? Or do you think it was just a story that was passed down through the ages, potentially to discourage people from coming there, or maybe just a, a story that was passed down through the years and just kind of became, had a life of its own? I don't know. Regardless, if I were a Bigfoot-like creature, uh, Sasquatch, whatever you call it, I, if there's one state that I would choose, it would be Alaska because it's so big and there's so much stuff like wilderness there. I feel like it would be a good area just to do my Sasquatch th stuff in. Let me know. Let me know. What state would you be a Sasquatch in, a Bigfoot in? Would it be Alaska or would it be another state? These are the questions that keep me up at night.